Hey everyone, just before we start the video, make sure to go join the Discord down in the description. I also want to clear something up about the Gladius video, uh, they've officially stopped putting the file out to install it, so I'm sorry guys, but it do not work anymore. I am trying to get the file again and post it in the Discord, so if you want to play Gladius, make sure to join the Discord for future updates. Oh, you may own an Xbox or a PS4. But did you know it was available to use a wired or a wireless keyboard on some games? Well, to be fair, I'd be pretty scared if you didn't, seeing as this feature was made about two years ago. So yeah, I'm here today to basically tell you how you do it, how to set it up, and what games you can play at the moment on Xbox. But I sadly do not own a PS4, so I don't know any games that are compatible with keyboard and mouse on there. Wait, stop right there, because I have a proposition for you. You want more electro content? To be fair, I wouldn't get mad if you said no. But if the answer's yes, then you should go follow me on TikTok. But no, we're actually doing very good at the moment. I'm sitting on around 650 followers. But if you could go follow me on there, it would be amazing. And you'll get some footage that doesn't normally reach the YouTube channel. Or you'll just see me messing around on there. But yeah, go follow it. Uh, it's Electro YTC. And anyway, let's get back to the video. Now, to start off, you will need your keyboard, your mouse, and the little like chip you get with a wireless keyboard or your wire. And obviously mix and match too so you can have a wireless mouse and a wired keyboard and stuff like that but basically what you'll need is the receiver end so either the little chip you get with wireless keyboards or your wire that is connected to your keyboard then you're going to take your wire or your little chip and plug it into a usb port on an xbox Do the same thing with your mouse and then that's it you literally have your keyboard connected to your xbox and your mouse and you're ready to play a few games if this doesn't work then make sure to either retrace your steps and find out what happened wrong or mess around with your keyboard for a bit and it will eventually come around but now it is time to check out some of the games you can play on xbox using your keyboard and mouse here are my top five no particular order of course i'm just gonna list them in a five first up is paladins this has been known to basically be the free overwatch clone but to be completely honest i actually kind of prefer paladins the gameplay just feels a bit better to me and to be honest it's probably because i've been playing this game for around about two years now haven't played it in quite a bit though so i'm excited to jump on with a keyboard and mouse and try and play this game so in paladins basically you take over a hero or a villain role and what you do is you use your abilities to try and push a payload or capture a point there is a ton of characters to be choose from, from Reaper, to Sky, to an Assassin, to anything. Which means matches, you'll have to play against different heroes and different characters, so it'll keep you on your feet. But yeah, if you take Overwatch, then you'll start to see similarities, and um, basically it's Overwatch, but with a few more characters and a whole lot of fun. That, my friends, is Paladins. Next up we have Overwatch, obviously we've just been over Paladins so I don't want to dwell on this one too long. More notable of the two easily with more notable characters and more, more locations. This was one of the biggest esports games easily. Since then it kind of died and I'm not saying it's fully dead now but not as many players were playing it as before. Obviously it's the same concept, 5v5, pick a hero, pick a villain, whatever you want to choose and it's attack and defense. People have different abilities that help them in different situations situations such as tracers, teleportation and reapers, multiple shotguns. But yeah, that's all I have to say because basically paladins and overwatch are kind of the same-ish, so that's it. Psst, what are you looking at? Coming up next, we have Sims 4. Obviously the best simulator game currently out on Xbox. And now with the Xbox getting keyboard support, this basically turns Sims 4 into a PC game. With the keyboard and mouse, this basically turns it into the PC version of Sims 4, like I've said. With every single feature, except obviously for modding, but with the base game, it basically is the PC version. Sims obviously stand for simulators, and basically in this game, you take over a sim, which is a person, it can be you, it can be a random person, and you take over their life, deciding who they will love, what house they live in, what job they have, and most importantly, what they have on a Friday night for dinner. Most of you have probably played The Sims or at least heard of it, but this is an amazing game and it deserves a play. 
So yeah, an amazing game and I recommend a play. Let's move on. Next up, we have Modern Warfare slash Warzone. Now, keyboard is compatible with Modern Warfare or Warzone, so you can play multiplayer, battle royale, whatever you want to with a keyboard and mouse. I'm going to focus on Warzone because that's the one I've played. I haven't played multiplayer on Modern Warfare yet, so I'm not sure about that. But yeah, Warzone is a very good battle royale, it's probably one of my top for me, easily beats the likes of Fortnite and stuff, very fun, uh, but if you're gonna get this game, get ready for some hefty, hefty updates. I'm talking 102 gigabyte updates. Just imagine something like Fortnite, but instead of Fortnite, it's Call of Duty gameplay, and that's basically Warzone. Very good, very fun. Uh, and I'm yet to get a win on it still. But coming in last, and certainly not the least, is Minecraft. I'm not even going to say what Minecraft is, because everyone should literally know what it is by now. But yeah, when I first heard that you could play keyboard on games, which was literally about two weeks ago, I kind of guessed that Minecraft was going to be one of the first ones, seeing how it's literally a PC port and it's so compatible with a keyboard already. Yeah, on Xbox, you can also play with servers on this, from the 6, that servers that they are, you can connect your keyboard and play servers on them. But yeah, Minecraft is just an amazing game, and it's probably the best game of all time. But yeah, guys, that is going to round off my Xbox equals mini PC video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. If I've taught you anything new, make sure to obviously smash the like button, as I've just said. And this has been Electro, signing out. But yeah, okay, if you're still here, I want to tell you the reason why I took a break. But yeah, I took a break because if you don't know, school's coming back into session now in September, and seeing as that would right at the end of August, now I need to start getting packing and start getting back into the mindset that I need to wake up early. So I've been doing that, I've been doing a daily routine, so I haven't had much space to fit in with, obviously, videos. To be honest, I just wasn't really in the right mindset to be getting videos done and stuff. I wasn't really enjoying it but i'm back now and i'm enjoying it as ever so hopefully i'll be able to post some good content for you guys anyway this has been electro and now i'm truly signing out